Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Monday, March 20th, 2017. And today I have in house my new uh, Soku folding solar charger, 22 watt solar charger. It was just delivered today. Uh, this is the camo pattern they had on it. And I think this is gonna match really good with my bug out bag. Uh, but right off the bat, let's go over some of the specs on this. I've already had it outside a little while ago testing it out and it does work so it's a it's a soku 22 watt folding solar charger this is the uh, small user manual that it comes with um, there are some basic specs here again it's the model fsc 22 it is uh, 22 watt sun solar power cells usb dc 5 volt 2.4 amp max and it has two ports. I'll show you that in a minute. Again, it's peak power, 22 watts, solar conversion rate of up to 23.5%. It's good with, with uh, USB, including Apple, Android, and Windows smartphones or tablets. Its folded size is 12.2 inches by 6.69 inches. And unfolded, it unfolds out to 22.05 inches. It weighs 17 and a half ounces, and it's made of. Uh, the panels are called PET laminated panels. They're a little flexible. Uh, they have a little give in them. They're not as rigid as my uh, Renogy panels, which only uh, equal 14 watts and weigh a lot more. Uh, and it's 600D waterproof. Uh, PVC fabric uh, canvas okay and so that's basically the uh, directions when you unfold it and put it in the Sun the um, solar charger or the solar converter is going to light up red and therefore now you could plug in devices into either of the uh, ports which there are two okay so that's the quick view of the user manual. This is the uh, box that it came in. Okay. I'll put the specs, the uh, price, this is all off Amazon, in the uh, description box. So let me give you some uh, close-ups first. This is the um, outside of the panel. Incidentally, it's really well constructed. Feels great. Looks great. I think the color is really fantastic this camo color they have it's like a digital camo so this is the panels folded you get you get two carabiner clips with it and you could move move around there's other uh, holes you could put it in and the front face here has got velcro and you open it up to expose the inner flap which looks like this just gives you some, you know, printed instructions on there. And then inside the little flap here, you have a storage compartment that you could put extra wires and spare cables, which is what I will carry on this side. And then on this side here, you've got your, uh, the panel just unfolded outside here and the red light already went on. So there's your USB ports. Okay, here is a shot of it opened up. Again, it's a little over 22 inches opened up. You've got three sets of the PET panels uh, right here. Some more areas here, grommeted areas that you could attach uh, lashing points to or hang it up when you get to camp, uh, wherever you're going to unfold this and charge it out. So. Uh, here's some close-up. You can't really s the panels are fairly dark. That's some close-ups there. And then it folds up. One, two, three. And then it seals down for transport. Nice and thin, light. Some of the reviews that I saw on this panel were very favorable. It's got
got some very good reviews, even on some YouTube channels that I watched. And so I thought this would be a good uh, bump up from the Renogy system that I was currently running on my bug out bag, which is heavier and also less watts and a lot more bulkier. Renogy has four sets of panels that open up. Nothing wrong with the Renogy system. I just wanted to make sure in the field those added few watts more give me some extra power to charge uh, devices. So uh, switching from, at least for the bug out bag purposes, from the Renogy system to the Soku 22 watt system. All right, guys, I have the two panels, the Renogy 14 watt panel that I currently had attached to my backpack and the new Soku panel that I just got in today. This is a 22 watt panel and it's lighter. It's a little longer than the Renogy, about the same width and it's less thick. It's a lot thinner. So let's weigh these two. Let's weigh the Renogy first and we'll see what that weighs in ounces. One pound, 11 and three quarter ounces. So almost one pound, 12 ounces for the Renogy. Now the Soku 22 watt charger, solar charger, solar panel. One pound, three ounces. One pound, three ounces. So a lot lighter and more power to boot with the Soku panel. Now to go along with the uh, Soku system, solar panel, folding solar panel, I purchased the X-Star VC2 Plus Master battery charger. And this I liked, uh, especially from my bug out bag in conjunction with the solar panel, is because this system is USB compatible and it will charge just about any battery that you have uh, out there. Uh, whether it's lithium ion, um, NIMH, uh, the different types of batteries. I have this exact charger in the four bay model and it works fantastic. And so what this charger gives me is, and I'll do a full review on it in a separate video, but this is your input for your USB. It also can put power out to other devices if you choose to do that. But right off the panel, the solar panel system, I can, I'll just open the panel here outside and see if I get any power just for the sake of the video. We'll plug it into the Soku system, the Soku panel. Okay, I plugged it in. Let's get it out in the light more and see if we can get any, um, get the battery charger to light up. And there we go. So I've got the panel just leaning over here off the railing, my apartment, and it already activated the battery charger and I don't even have uh, direct sunlight. So that's my thinking behind this uh, system, guys, is to have the Soku panel charge devices in the field or charge batteries in the field, and then I could there, um, thereby use the batteries and flashlights and GPSs and things of that nature. The next piece that I'm adding to this puzzle will be here tomorrow. And I ordered a 
21,600 milliamp hour battery, waterproof battery uh, bank uh, to carry uh, to charge off the solar panel and then to dump that power into other devices. Uh, that's called an out XE, I believe, and that's due in tomorrow. So I'll show you that set up tomorrow and then future videos will show how these things are going to work in conjunction with each other in the field. But tonight's video was the Soku charger to show you that solar panel uh, mixed up with the um, VC2 Plus Master. And I'll put both of those links in the description box for my bug out bag. Thanks for watching, guys. Questions, comments, uh, let me know. But I think this is going to be a great little system for the field. Um, to run in the field and through my bug out bag. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay ready. There is the Soku folding solar charger right there. It's what it looks like. This is the uh, camo version. I like this color. It's going to blend in nice with my backpack. <clears throat> and this is the X-Star VC2 Plus uh, two bay battery charger, USB battery charger right here. So in the field, these two items can be priceless to you to recharge almost any rechargeable battery that you could put in here. Just like the X-Star VC4 that I have, this one is just two bays and uh, easily packable and can get the job done.